Rollies. No, I just restarted it. Rollies. What? What? How about how about you tell us when? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we're rolling now. Yeah. I was gonna say we could do the fire thing and then Kitty will just uh, remind us where we were at. That's that's what's supposed to happen. I mean, normally. like like real yeah. professional, but all right, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> All so right. much pressure on Sema just to say the first thing. Yeah. I mean, now we put pressure on him, but he was Sema's just doing drunk. doing it doing it out of his own accord before. What? What did now I it, do? Now it's a job. He has pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's what cr critical role was too. It's just like we're just doing stuff for fun, and now it's a job. Yeah, like my crazy promises uh, of streams. Yep. Yeah, I saw your post. <laughs> you you forgot about us again? Yeah, I thought it was Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. On on vacation, that's that's fair. Yeah, it's vacation plus the crazy schedule. So. Yeah. Forgive All right. Me. I have no excuse. So, Except last I'm fat. time, <laughs> that's not an excuse. Uh, oh, no. So, last time, it's been a while, but you guys uh, fought some dude in an inn. It was a fair fight, not just a plain out murder. Um, you were able to de-escalate the situation, bring them out, uh, agreed on some condition, and have a fair fight, which you guys won. Um, in return for your uh, winning, you asked for some information uh, from the guy that you were going to the end to see. Uh, his name was uh, R. Um, he, he was taking a shit outside, uh, he came, he came back in, you, you guys had a, a quick conversation with him, um, you learned quite a bit of information on, like, what's going on, who's that freaking guy that wants you to rot in hell, um, what he's doing, what is his network, uh, how he deals, um, things like that. And then, uh, yeah, you ask him to, like, what are your options? And you are trying to um, kind of cut a deal with the dude that's going to judge you in three days now, four days. So uh, R was kind enough to try and arrange a meeting for you. Um, so the, uh, what was said is a meeting with Thule, um at the Fancy Piggy uh, with a halfling in a VIP room at night. Here's pretty much the only information that uh, you have at that point. Uh, we left it uh, at like noon, beginning of the afternoon. You have the whole afternoon to prepare or do whatever you guys want. Um, yeah. Go shopping! Oh, go shopping. Oh, God. <coughs> no, I'm going to buy like fancy I, stuff for. Uh... I think Zoop did some stuff. But apart from that, it was pretty much, uh, yeah, yeah up, up to you guys to decide what you want to do for the afternoon yeah. before the meeting. Question. Do I have any cash? <laughs> okay. you, you're, oh, the, you're the bank. You're the bank of the party. I'm freaking rich. Okay, good. Uh, we are actually, yeah. 
That's true. I have like 200. But I own money to Semat. What? Wait. What? Well, we I made we made 48 money. gold each. Uh, you owe me a potion. With the dragon shit. I owe you a potion. A potion of what? A healing. A healing? Yeah, from uh, that bet we used to have in the first session. Remember? <sighs> Is that the yeah. voice? Yes, I think. Yes, that's uh, yeah, first, that try. first try. First try after a month. Oh. Congrats. I have zero potion of you. I honestly don't remember. Uh, you buy me a breastplate. Am I a bard now? I don't remember. Oh, okay. uh, oh you're still no. a cleric. Check your hands. Do you have a guitar? Hmm. I, I'm trying air guitar. So, Matt, what got, are you doing? I got 20. Natural twin? No. Are you... Are you trying to do sound with your voice or just acting it? I'm trying to sing a dwarf song with special effects from presentation and it is the same dwarf song that they sing in The Hobbit. The song of the mountains. Of the mountains? While you sing the sound of the mountain, and sounds pretty good. The air guitar doesn't add that much, but uh, still a show. Well, looks like I'm a bard now. That was too easy for being a bard. No one, no one asked any <laughs> question. Which, like, he's the bard now. Mm-hmm. I don't know, he's the cleric. Can he heal you with his words? Oh. Probably. So, are we going to buy stuff, or uh... Um... We're supposed to prepare for the meeting. Yeah. You need fancy clothes? I need fa- No, I don't need fancy clothes. No? I don't think so. Where is the fancy pig? The, That's yeah, a great idea. Piggy. Let's all buy ourselves some very fancy clothing. Yeah, why so not? So that we look important. Yeah. It, how's it, how's more, your cleavage? We, we need a plan. I don't got a cleavage. You have? No. Well, I mean, uh, you're I, going on a fancy date. You need at least... A, I think it's only female characters that get cleavage bonus when they level up. I don't know. I heard that <laughs> somewhere. So what is the plan? Just get in the reunion and convince this guy that give us some information about the merchant? No, we have to bribe him. So you free us up. Well, free, not, not necessarily free, but he give us a fair judgment. Okay. So we have to convince Tuli to just well, to convince Jill to lead that we didn't do nothing or something like that. Yeah, basically. Well, he does. We... We don't. Yeah. So, get an agreement with Julie. That's the objective. Yep. Julie is the judge? No, Julie is... Who the hell is Tuli? He's... Well, sort of. He's gonna be... Wait, he's a guard. As I remember, he's a guard of the barracks. And he's gonna be the one who's gonna be judging. So, yeah, basically, he's a judge. So, we are trying to convince the judge to... <laughs> be in our side. Yeah. Okay. Because we did nothing wrong. Well... Well, if you guys are going to stay here for a while, do you want a drink? Yeah. And th that's the... The... The, the barkeep. Oh, we are, Since we you are guys are, I guess... I, you never yeah. said you left, so you still... Yeah. <laughs> we are 
to be the guys that we kick out. Okay. Yeah. Bring us beer. Thank you. Starts uh, pouring some beers, passing them along. So you guys are just gonna show up and try to convince him. Well, it depends. Does does he have any family? Does he have <clears throat> something that we can I don't know Exploit. know like he like or any way that we can persuade him? You want to do some no. information? I have no idea who that guy is. But I overheard the conversation that you had with R. Mm -hmm. Sounds to me that um, he might be a bit hard to convince. Since he was already bought by oh, he's already your bought. enemy. So we have to offer more money? We have to charm him. Or get him sick. I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do. I'm just saying that. Or charming. Con convince him. Him might be. Do do we get expensive some... or tricky? Do we get some spell to charm? Charm person or something like that. I, I we got the scroll. The problem with the charm spell is that they they know you've charmed them after a while. Yeah, we have charm, charm person. Charm so. person. Yep. That's what we did last time. We can use that. I mean, they know that we use charm after we use charm on them? No, I don't think so. I don't know. There's, I... there's persuade, there's command, there's different you know, command. spells. Yeah, but it's... Com but yeah, command is sure. Come it's on, on it's not them. that long. Yeah, when the spell ends, the creature knows uh, it was true. Yeah. The char Charmin made the, the same thing? The what? Charm person made the same thing? I... I does it mean the same thing as what? Like, if uh, the uh, spell uh, lose the effect, they know yes. that they Yeah, charmed. yeah, yeah. When the spell ends, the creature mm -hmm. knows it was charmed by... And it lasts for all long. That one, an hour? Oh, okay. So that Which window was pretty pretty short. Yeah, it, it, it gives us enough, enough time that if we charm someone, they could go to the court, tell them to drop the charges, and then... Uh, yeah, but then afterwards, an hour after, it would do exactly the opposite. You would go back and then say, I was charmed. And you... We, can we can... you convict someone for the same crime twice? Now would have to check with a lawyer. <laughs> we don't I have do... a lawyer. Well, I mean, that's probably the mistake that we did. We should have found a lawyer first. What the hell is a lawyer? Or, or, uh, except charm person, we have a, a third option. Um, oh. it is called killing that dude. But uh, I'm keeping that option as a last resort. If there is no judge, but oh, <laughs> that's suspicious. Yeah, I mean, but there is no judge. Yeah, it is. It is suspicious. Also, does it mean that he's the, 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 our, our friend Jorzak? Oh, it's not even his name. But anyway. Or we that can offer our service. Maybe do some dirty thing that uh, he need, and uh, we can do it for him. Yeah, that's the best bet. So but instead of murdering him, we murder poor him. That's yeah. it. There is still murder involved. I am highly interested. Well, if we're going to do something for him, yeah, probably there is murder involved. But we don't know. Maybe he's just stealing something or... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Help someone. Yeah. 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 Maybe it is something it's... bigger than the money that this guy gave him. Yeah, or maybe he has magical items that we could kill him if he has magical items. I mean, I as know, a guard at the I'm barracks, afraid. I very doubt he has anything valuable that much. 
Is he a guard at the barracks, or I'm just I talking I nonsense? I don't think he is. No, I don't think he is. I think we're talking a crime baron. So, if we recall right, Tuli... Tuli is just a judge, not a soldier, right? DM, uh, can you weigh in on uh, all this nonsense? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna need some uh, directions. Um, I don't... He, he's not a soldier. He's not... Like, there's no judge per se. Okay. Uh, like the the there soldier. There is no lawyers either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y you can hire someone to defend yourself if you want. Okay. Um, but like the the barrack and the soldier and the hierarchy in um, the 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 guards is kind of who makes the who enforce the laws. Um, and he's just a higher up, like he, he he's probably he's not the like top guy, but okay, okay, okay. Uh, he's like the top in his division. Okay, he's important. So he's kind of a uh, handling some sectors or some uh, kind of uh, uh, complaints or uh, crime that you guys fell in. Okay. So he's oh. kind of acting as the judge. And... Who's his boss? The boss of Tuli? Yeah. Well, someone else at the barracks, probably. Maybe we could go all Karen-like and go there and say, I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> Be your supervisor. Oh. Well, we know that Tuli is already by, or something, right? We. Yo, oh, it's been bribed, yeah. That's for sure. What we could try, get him drunk enough, and spill the beans. So we could Ooh. like say he's been bribed, and we could, like. With charm person. Ah, uh, let's yeah, let's try did. the the. Maybe the easy way first, with just plain old alcohol and some cleavage. Okay. It's, it's not a, okay. Does Zook have cleavage? I don't believe he does. No, it's Kate who's going. Kate not all the either. <laughs> Come on. Kate, you can do it. What? So, and if the guy doesn't get enough drunk, or doesn't trust us, we charm him, or we try to do it in the wrong way, like, not killing the guy, but maybe just trying to persuade him. There you go. Beating his ass? I don't know. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, I got a picture of your cleavage. That's <laughs> a picture. No, yeah. you, you know. Oh my god. I mean, he, maybe he's into it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. We don't know. So you guys don't know anything. Yeah. We 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 we. We don't know if he he what he like or what he's doing, but we need the uh, to know if we can persuade him. Yeah. And yeah, we can we can know if if uh, this uh, Jorsak already pay him something. Mm. Yeah, I believe that. Getting him drunk with Cade, like step one. Okay. And then at the end of the evening, we could try the charm person. Okay. I mean, he's already gonna be drunk, so probably gonna help with the charm person, and we can just write down everything that he says afterwards. Or maybe Cade gain his trust, like just with the beer and some talk. <clears throat> with his thrust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. 
I feel like that's our gonna go our only way. chance right now. Yes. Uh, but I tried to get some more information on the guy from contact I have. What contact you have? Criminal sure. contact. Ooh. Ooh. He's pulling some backstory stuff. Oh, Sir, hey. sure. yeah. Uh, are you? What? What are you doing? Are you doing? Uh, are you going alone? Are you? I'm going alone. Uh, I don't know. You're going to Gate, you. if you have some stuff yeah. you have to take care That's of, you can go on your own. On. Can I? Well, yeah, you're the guy with the contacts. <laughs> I guess I'll go on my own. So, uh, cast uh, before he the way before you go. I just want to say that it's been a pleasure knowing you. If anything <laughs> happens to you, and. uh We'll keep thinking about you and you'll be missed if ever something happens to you. Until then, here's a little help and I'll cast guidance. That lasted one minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So your next thought has advantage. No, it's <laughs> just a D4 actually. Okay. Hmm. Nice. So, uh, you're, are, are you sneaking out or you're just, uh, you guys are just having this conversation and you're going? Uh, we're having this conversation. I think I'll just go. Okay. All right. So Kate is, uh, leaving you guys in the inn. Uh, is there anybody else that wants to do anything? while he's uh gone i uh no i don't think today is the right right time to do it i'll do it some other time dragon is layer chopping you what you're gonna polish yeah the, the dragon, dragon is layer the new one i'm like <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I like uh, I like rubbing my sword sometimes. But uh, normally yeah. I don't do it in public. That's nice. oh, it could be uh that's intimidating for others. Oh, okay. And you know, yeah, got a big sword. Thanks. And she's keeping clean. <laughs> Is if there's any discussion between the party that you guys want to have, that would be the time or I don't know you already copied all your, uh, your spell yep. or anything. I don't know, Samad, if you wanted to buy anything or... Well, I'm not actually sure what we're doing, so... Just meeting a guy, getting info on him, and... Trying to convince him, I guess, is, is this still the plan? So. Uh, well, for now, all you know is Cade is gone. He might have some contact that can help getting information, um, but that's it. Okay, uh, just maybe if we charm him, maybe the one good thing to do is actually get dirt on him so that he would have something, like if he ever uh, does something against us, we have something against him. Usually that's what they do in the war in the world, and that's what we did as pirates when we were handling less than lawful situations. Yeah, that's right. That's that's part one. Well, the new part one is Cade trying to go get some dirt on him. Then yeah, and if that fails, maybe we can charm him. If we have to charm him, maybe we could just get him to talk to us about his dirty stuff, and yep. that's it. That's step Maybe three. Maybe get proof. As long as we got proof, he he is he won't be able to do anything against us, right? I mean, there must be one lawful judge in this goddamn town. Drinking my beer. All right. The what? 
while you guys are having uh, this discussion. Uh, Cade, you make your way to uh, the burrows. The burrows. The burrows. Yes. That's where you uh, used to uh, work while you were in uh, Neverwinter before going to uh, the Red Brands and everything. Uh, so make your way there. Uh, like the entrance is hard to find. Like there, you have to uh, watch this, the the sign that you only being a part of the member are able to like see and uh it's really like a burrow it's like some barrels that you have to push out there's a hole in the ground with like uh some uh, a grill with some like dirt pushed on it you open it you get down <clears throat> it's like musty and the smell is uh just like dirt and it, like it, this, the smell is not too bad because uh, it, it's it's still like have this uh, um, aroma of like beer and alcohol and uh, a, a bit of sweat and dirt, but not too bad. So like it's it just smells like uh, like males, <laughs> but it's not too bad. So you you like make your way. Uh, in the burrow and you uh, hear people like talking and chatting uh, and you see some light at the end of the tunnel and when you enter kind of the more of common room uh, there's a, a few people that uh, turns their head and look at you and there's kind of a, a silence that goes down and then people just start shouting Oh my god, that's Kane! What the hell? That's been so long we haven't seen you! Come here, come here! And like there's uh, the, uh, a big uh, a big guy, he looks like a uh, half human, half elf. Uh, and it seems to be uh, like just uh, doing like dishes, washing glasses. There's no bar itself, it's really more of a common room with just uh, tables. There's other burrows that goes probably to uh, other room for storage and um, beddings and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, in the common room, it's more like barrels and liquor and shelves and uh, dishes and tables. Um, so it just comes uh, to you. It just picks you up and make you a, a big hug. Where have you been? You haven't given us any news in like, what? Three years? I've been doing stuff. <laughs> you know, life's hard. Yeah, I, I get that, I get that. What can we do for you? I know, I'm I'm back, but I, I would need some info. Oh, info. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean... You know, you know us. That kind of things is what we do. Yep. But you know what you have to do for that. Uh, yes. So right. I'll show him my tattoo. Where is it? Uh, but on... cheat, but cheat. Come on. Uh, I'm not sure. Where is it? I don't know. You tell me. Under the tongue. Under the tongue? Oh, good spot. In the eyelid. On your teeth. On your Under the nails. On your foot. No, uh, it's gonna be on my shoulder. Okay. So you just like raise your uh, yes. uh, armor or like, I don't know, you have a leather armor, right? Yes. 
So you kind of uh, have to <laughs> remove it because like it's stiff, so you can't really raise it. So you have to remove your armor. Uh, you show it. And it takes a look at it. Great, great. Um, all right. Let me see what I have for you. And uh, there's other people that comes like uh, there's a, a, a small um, a gnome that seems like very excited, very energetic. That's walking around. You. What have you been doing? You've been doing, Kate. Been so long since we've killed someone together. <laughs> I'm trying to kill less people. <laughs> it's, it's been good, but <laughs> you know. Yeah, always the same, Kane. Don't change. <laughs> uh, so, uh, there's an, uh, another elf in the back. This guy is kind of more, um, like, no expression, very stoic. Uh, he has, like, a satchel on his shoulder. Uh, he can move slowly toward you. He sits down on the table, uh, puts his satchel on the table. Well, Cade. So, well, we're gonna need a name. Uh, yes. It's uh, his name is Tuli. Should be high place in the very recent. The... He, and the he looks at you. And he, he, he has like no expression, so you're <laughs> you're kind of like giving, trying to give more information, more information. Uh, he's like, yes, of course, we know him well. What do you need? We have blackmail, we have loved ones, we have everything you need. This guy is just a dumbass. <laughs> he he has everything open. It's very easy for us to find information on him. Uh, well, I guess I'll take the words you have on him. Good choice. And yeah, uh, he he start like searching his uh, in his um, uh, satchel. Well, uh, the. Half elf, the the big one, comes back. All right, Cade. You have to do a deal for us. I uh, know. Yeah, what is um, There's this. Uh, Are you still fine with hits? With hits? Yeah. You know. Killing. What? With kill? Yes. Are you yeah. still fine with doing a. Uh, what do you call that? Taking care of someone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, we, we have some options. It's called a hit job, but... Job. Yeah, hit job. That's what I wanted to, to say. We have hit job that would probably be the easiest for, for you, but if you're not in that sort of things anymore, we have some information that we need to get out of some important people in the city. And what your... Depends. Your head job are for bad people? Yeah. Depends. I've but... never met an innocent man. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they are, but you know, it's more what we need doing. Yes. 
Well, I guess that's the easiest way. Alright. Um, so he, he pulls out a, a needle with a kind of um, golden medallion and a letter. So he gives you the letter, takes your hand, pokes your uh, finger, takes some blood in um, the medallion. And the other guy with the satchel pulls out another letter, gives it to you. That seals the deal. Hope you're gonna stay a bit. Been a while, we need to catch up. You can grab a drink. We'll see. We have other we have a a board full of jobs if you need coins too. Could be interesting. So are you staying for a drink? Or are you just leaving? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. And my info. And I have a job I know or uh you you have two letters one is the job one is uh info that you requested yep. i'll go so uh, just as you leave uh, the um the the big dude uh just says before you hey kate just remember you know what happens if you don't complete it and we already have someone on the job so you have to do it quick. Okay. I know. See ya. See ya. Take care. Too, too. I have a John Wick vibe. <laughs> too, too, too. That blood hey. thing. Uh, I, f I felt it was awesome, but I've seen it. <laughs> So, were, were any of you guys doing anything? Um, Drinking beer! <laughs> I mean, if we go anywhere, Katie's gonna get lost. He's so small. He won't know where we're at. And, uh, I might Wait, as well stay here. Katie disappeared? Someone. someone See? Somewhere. So small you didn't even notice he was gone. No. There's still a barbarian, you can do arm wrestling with him. Yeah, let's yeah. arm wrestle. Arm wrestle. Yeah. Contested strength check? I guess. <laughs> Where's... Okay. Oof. Double oof. He's gonna rage. Nutty. What? I'm gonna use. Nah, I yes. got nothing. <laughs> uh. True strike. No. <clears throat> it's an attack. Yeah, it doesn't work. Twenty-three. Yep, I'm beat. So his, like, his nose is still bloodied. He has like a, a, a black eye, a couple of wounds still like open and bleeding from like the, the sword fight and stuff like that. But like, with you guys sit down at the table and you ask for a, a arm wrestling fight, he just like gets pumped. Fucking bomb! It just yeah, and he just sees that I it's chains to like uh, get to get back to you, and like as soon as you start, it's just ooh, just smash the table. It's not even a fight, and uh, he's like he, he stands up. He's still like since he rage in 
just uh, uh, just blinded. And he's like, <laughs> for just an arm wrestling. Like, it's so over the top, but um, I mean, I guess he needed that. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll let him win this one. Good. At this time, uh, Cade's make it back. Baby, come back! <laughs> My voice is gonna be wrecked tomorrow. Why? Uh, I already have a sore throat, so it kind of like amplifies everything. <laughs> so perfect. Yeah. It fits. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what what are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking whiskey. That helps. Oh, yeah, I mean that, yeah, that, that helps too. <laughs> it's, it's a whole yeah. thing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, um Yeah. Okay, you make it back. Yeah. You Hi, see the, you see the scene the scene of uh Fern and the barbarian just uh crushing the table. Everyone seems to be just doing their thing, passing the time, drinking beer. Okay, you're oh. back! Yay! I survived. Why from what? What happened? You, you didn't notice it was gone? No. I, I, I went might be to get more info. Did you get any? Yes. Maybe I should have read before. Well, let's read it before. <laughs> I'm just gonna open it and I guess we read it together or I read it out loud. Well, it's up to you. If you want to read it out loud, it kind of feels weird or, in the middle of a bar. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. You know, we can take turns and just read it. Uh... Okay. So is it good so, information, Mr. DM? So as you open it, um Does it explode? No. Oh okay. But <gasps> like it's 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 not just like one uh letter that with like stuff written on it. Like it's pretty FD like letter. And you open it and it's like a pile of different papers. Um Does anyone wants to Try and investigate or oh. no, wait, we have to investigate stuff. I, I mean, it's reading, but sure, yes, fireball. investigate what letters because there are too much stuff to read. Is there is there good, good, good things in there? I'll, I'll take a couple out and I'll try to like there's two roll? that diagonal read through it. Going right. to investigate it. Wait, there, there's there's too many lines, so we have to do a check. It's just a pile a pile of paper. It's not like a pile of paper. It, 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 it's not le it's not letters that uh, sure. It's not it's not a, a le like a, a paragraph of text that you read and it explains the situation. Mm -hmm. It's more like uh, uh, on um, on structure like papers and stuff. It's not like subject, that guy, what we <laughs> got on him. We have to organize it. But what's uh, written on the pages? Well, that's why I'm asking you guys to make an investigation check. Mine would be 13. 14. We all roll? Yeah. I already roll. I got the natural 20. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! Four. For a total of. At twenty-one. Oh, nice, nice. Is it an You only have plus one in investigation. Oh, I'm it's, sorry. It's I kill people. <laughs> I thought. Okay. I thought your investigation was high. I don't know. Um. All right. Uh. So, as you start like uh, putting everything on the table and placing everything together, like. Some of them seems like official papers, 
some of them seems to be like uh, uh, like letters back and forth on some subject. Like you get a, an idea that it seems to be uh, different information pieced together, but then uh, Kate, like it, it just clicks, and uh, it, the the whole thing just appears to be like paper trail of uh, like the corruption of this guy. Like in there, there's uh, there's like letters between um, like people asking him to uh, convict someone for no reason. Uh, there's uh, like I don't have any other example, but like stuff like that. He okay. traded babies. I don't believe it. So these guys are corrupt. Do you relay this information to the group? Yes, I will relay the information. Thank you. Damn. Well, but that was easy. What'd you do, man? You just left without telling us, and you you came back with exactly what we needed. You got all this forget, stuff for free? Forget my my suspiciousness, sir. But you are small and suspicious. Well, I told you I was gonna go somewhere. S care to say a bit more about that? Uh, it came with a prize. Oh. Okay. Rewind. Can you tell? Start from the beginning, please, Mister. And we'll need another beer. Another beer. Yep. Yeah. So wow. it's a criminal organization. That's so loud. People might hear us. So I'm making a per perception check to see if people are listening to us. It's the same. We're at the table, not at the bar, I guess. And I got a natural 20. Oh, Yay. let's go. So I, are you. Are you still at the bar? No, we're at, a table. Still at the bar. No, we're at the table. We're, Come on. We're How at do the you table. want to piece out oh, yeah. papers at a bar? Come they on. Broke a yeah. table. Oh. <laughs> so okay. right now, uh, there is not much people in the inn. Like you guys got everyone out. Remember? And... Yeah. What happened? Oh, wait, that happened. And then uh, it's pretty much the bartender. Um, and the three other guys that were with him. Um, a few people, like, comes in, like, check. They see the, like, the, the, the three main guys, the four main guys, like, all beaten, beaten up. And they're like, hmm. Maybe some then, other like, time. coming in. <laughs> I'll come back. And, yeah, so... There's no not a lot of people in in here, uh, but so that with your uh, natural uh, twenty, like uh, of course they're curious, like the the four that you beat it. So they are giving you uh, looks and trying to listen in on your conversation, even being like at the bar or another table table i don't feel it here guys i don't feel it at all we should go out and duck this outside maybe well not necessarily outside well i no. guess we can go back to our usual inn which is uh, how much is a goddamn know. boat you want a boat? Yeah, just a, a place to crash or stuck or something or... Maybe you should be careful with the words you, you use, like a boat and crash. Nah, it doesn't really go well. A place to rest our eyes. Is that better? Hey, I need... Sure, but I don't think we can afford a boat. 
BB I canoe. Don't know. You're pretty rich. Yeah, not that rich. I'm not bolt buying rich. We could be. What if we find pirates we and steal their pirates. boat? Would right now? Sure, it would make the trip actually like from Neverwinter to Fendelin pretty easily. With a boat? I always like to see hair. Well, I just thought that it could be a safe space to to talk, you know, all the time. And I miss being in the open air. Well, we can talk about it if we get out from this problem first. Yeah, you're right. Why are we speaking about boats? Too late, Zook's really oh, interested so in boats really now. I don't think Zook's ever been on a boat now. Well, you guys side sidetracked that. I don't mind. I don't like sea, but... If it's going to help us. But uh, I look around. And uh, I start like taking my stuff and getting out. All right, let's go to the Drunken Tower. It's far away from here. Yeah, it's a short walk. Not that bad. It's actually not too close from the fancy piggy. Oh, okay. Actually, I have absolutely no idea. I'm just like. So we have time just to put the uh, Kate in the shower, but uh, I don't know that he can be like. You just want to see him in the shower, right? Wait, what? No. Yeah, that's, that's, you want. that's what I thought also. That's all they want, these elves. I just want to that he go like really well present to his Tully. I don't know what it was. Yeah, what it, right. Like, you want him well presented. Yeah. Well. I think I got some perfume in my pocket. I think I uh, we're, uh, we're mostly going there to to persuade him to not make us bad since we have proved that he's corrupted. Okay, oh. here's what I'm thinking. We memorize some of the scripts. Has proved that we have them, but we you don't bring them to him. No, directly. I don't bring them. Yeah, no. We need to stash them someplace self safe, like in a safe. In fierce how we can about fight. or a boat? How about just like a magical bag I've been carrying around? Oh, okay. but it's still That's in a work. bag, right? But you need to be. Don't you need to be thinking about the the thing you want to get out to get it out? Well, yes. So if they he, if he doesn't know where they are, he would need really good means. Does it? How do you? How does it work? Right? If if people steal your bag, they don't know what's in it. Well, maybe he's going to be looking for it in the back, but he needs to know where they are. We could say it's in the bank, but stash it in the bag. But then again, if he doesn't know they're in the bag, but he's trying, he's getting the bag. How does he know that they're in it? And how does he get out, get him out if he doesn't know? So are, are we trying to hide it? What's happening? Uh, we're buying a boat. Yeah, I think we're buying buy a boat. boat. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> that we are oh. doing next. That's actually a option. very good question. Zook has an option. What what if you What happens if I flip the bag around? I'll flip the bag. Have you tried <laughs> upside down? <laughs> wait, I'll... wait. You are doing it like <laughs> in the yeah. inn? We are we are already uh, in the inn? Or I suppose we are, like, we're walking the to the, the fancy uh, no, the, no, not the fancy biggie, the, the, the boat cellar. Drunken tower. The, 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 the drunk boat cellar. gonna drop it. The boat cellar, yeah. We, we can't come out of any quest and we're like, you know what? Let's get a boat. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I want a boat. 
Well, if we sur if we survive to this, yeah. Or we can just run and... Yeah, I, mean, I think we, we need we need to sort that out. We don't need to survive this if we're leaving on a boat. That's that's land people problems, not <laughs> boat people problems. <laughs> we're just never coming back. <laughs> I mean, we sail into so the sunset. Campaign ends over. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Had the boat while we're sitting into the sunset? Is <laughs> is the boat considered it's... a friendly? Because I mean, I could protect the boat from the fireballs. Absolutely not. All right, so let's not take a. But you can boat. Tr you can throw fireball as fireworks as you're sailing out away in the sunset. That could we be good. The boat. <laughs> I think you found what's called solutions. So, so are we? Like, that's over. <laughs> and before right. before we go crazy, uh, we are. You trying guys to... are already like. We are going we are going to the inn. That's the the drunken tower. The, the drunken tower. tower. Drunken tower. Drunk, the drunken drunk tower. Drunk drunk we are tower. going like to a room, I suppose, and we're going to share the information that have Kate. Yeah, I'll flip the bag in the room. And he flip flipped the bag in the room. Are we so I just need a, a pointer right now. Are we trying to hide that paper? Is that what we're, we're doing right now? Well, we were saying that we can put the papers in the in the back of holding. It is to yeah. hide it, right? Yeah. Well, do we need to hide it? I just don't right, that's, bring that's, them to that's the That's exactly my point. Why do we need to hide it? Don't bring what them did I miss? Because I'm going alone. Yeah. yeah. I might have a solution. But the papers, the papers let us with us. You just, yes. you just read the papers and uh, just throw it. Yeah, Sam, I'm just right added in. too many beers. You, you didn't miss anything. Too. It was just like... Okay. Was a I think you want to so, vote. But I, I, I just yeah. need... So, Kate's going alone on a meeting and uh, we're trying not to lose the paper in case, right? Yeah. We need, we need that paper, that's our proof. Yeah, but... Wait, like, first... if the guy kills me, then you still have paper. Okay, so that's what happens. Yep. Well, Fern, what's your question? Well, he's not gonna kill you like in the middle of a public space. Yeah, that's not going to happen. You need like uh, a lot of power to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, so, did, okay. didn't you say it came with a price, though? Yes. Are we in a room? We are in a room right now. It's a walk. <laughs> like I don't even know where you guys are going. We're going we to the going drunk to the tower eat. bar. The, the first place we set foot we're when we went take into Neverwinter. We're going to close it and we're going to talk about everything without being annoying. Or we could all do that on a boat if we buy it quicken. Okay, so... No, no. <laughs> Drunken <laughs> drunk Tower Bar. Uh, Before drunk we go drunk crazy, Kate, Kate, you're going to leave with a paper, right? You're meeting him alone, right? No, I leave you the paper. No, you leave the paper with us? Yes. So you don't need it. Well, I'm not gonna need it with the meeting. Okay, never mind. Damn it, I had such a good plan at time. Alright, never mind. Alright, yeah. so you guys uh, <laughs> go outside, make your way to uh, the drunken bar, the drunk tower. Uh, it takes about 20 25 minutes. It's raining outside at this oh, point, no. uh, it's muddy. Uh, Oh yeah, hard. I'll get into my chest. It's hard to not like, um, uh, uh, like get dirty in that kind of weather uh, with the streets that are not really like paved. Most of them, it's just like dirt and uh, there's like puddles everywhere. It's yeah, not not pretty. <clears throat> so you pass by like the shady uh, place. Uh, the street are mostly quiet since it's raining. Um, make your way back to the, the main uh, part of the town to the Trunk Tower bar. And I think you guys have rooms. I don't know if you still have them. Uh, we are going to stay in there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you, were, you, you guys were there. I don't know if you're paying every night or if you 
you bought for longer. That's what I don't remember. I do not recall. So let's say our tab is over and we have to pay yeah, we, for we another pay set. some uh, kind of silver. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And we okay. take a roll. Just one. How many rooms? Just one. For the moment. Okay. Uh, we're, we're all gonna sleep in the same room. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're have to, going to sleep in separate places. We can meet in the same one, but okay. we'll take three rooms. All right. It's gonna be uh, three gold. Three we'll gold. take two rooms. <laughs> two gold. Deal. Okay. I'll, I'll sleep with the two small ones. I'm paying, by the way. Okay. Okay, then. Gives you your keys, tells you the number of the rooms, you are free to make your way there and have fun. First order of business, when I get into the room, I'm gonna flip the bag over. What happens? Nothing. Amazing! Think about something. Okay, so now, first question. What are your contacts, Kay? What happened there? I didn't realize that you were gone. Yeah, that happens. That how important you are to her. Yes. Yeah, so there I feel like there's some things you, you kind of didn't didn't remember and remember just in like very recently. Yeah, now. Why not before? Right, so we can forgive you for the fact that you never talk to us about it. Just tell us everything now. For example, who helped you get that shit? So, what kind of stuff are you involved in? It's uh, an organization that you do do job for them for money, and you can also have info. Like a mercenary kind of thing? Yes, so the job are not really good. So I tried to stop going. And I wasn't thinking of going back again, but I thought it was the only option. So oh, no. the price to pay is... a hit job. But it's gonna be fine. It, 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 it's good. Hey. Okay, so we had to kill and uh, sorry, murder someone. I have to. To avoid murdering someone. It was not gonna work. What's happening? For people you that fail. we don't know. What's the name of your organization? Yeah, what is the name of your organization? You heard it. It's the Barrow. But... The Barrow. The the wit. The who? Barrow. 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 So who's intelligent here? Anybody had any fancy studying? Me? Probably me, isn't it? Maybe. Well, you've mm -hmm. been living like in inside of a cave for so long. I mean, I also read some you're, stuff. You're actually right. I you're know you're that. book smart, sure, but not, yeah, not really like yeah, world I mean, smart. Yeah. Well, actually, no in the offense. books, that's where the most uh, knowledge is, right? Even yeah, in did, history Did knowledge. I ever read a book about that? Anybody good in history knowledge? Uh, I, I will I, try. I will guide you with my oh. magic uh, finger. My magic glowing finger. See my finger? In history, someone else. I will try. History. 11. Plus 1d4. No, oh, plus 1d4. Because you're been... guided. Uh, 14. Never heard of it. Never heard of the barrow? Nope. I've been working a couple of weeks. You what? Backstory stuff, but I forgot. Uh, it is written that I've been a couple of years in Neverwinter as a porter and laborer in the city bustling ducks. Okay. I didn't make that shit up. It's been there since day one. Okay, that's nice. So I know stuff. I just oh. don't know stuff. 
That's for sure that I don't well, know I, stuff. I know things. Make, forest, so, no. make a history check with advantage. Heck yeah. And guidance. At that you want to choke on that? <laughs> do, do you... Do you give me the guidance or you don't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He does. Oh yeah, that magic finger has no, one no, and I was more saying, blue. I was asking DM if he let me or. Yeah. I was just kidding. Uh, history, history. What the hell? Wow, I got a, a neat plus. Well, nine, zero. Okay. Uh, plus so that brings nine? me to six, nine. Not nine. Nine. Oh. nine. Nine. nine slightly different. So, so nine history? Oh. Uh, no, I have a sixteen. Total. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, you've heard like organizations and uh small groups of like thieves or assassin or stuff like that, but the the name the burrows itself doesn't ring a bell. I have absolutely no idea what the burrows is. So can you tell us more yeah. about the boroughs, uh, Kate? What what are they into? Uh, actually, I don't know where we're making that those roles. There's a guy right here who knows everything about them. Well, it's just an organization. And so... I mean everything: data foundation, mean founders, I got political no organization. Yeah. <laughs> I so don't know it's, that much. It's just like a group of mercenaries. That's it. You have and, a board uh, with jobs you to have do. some codes or uh, something yes there's like code and everything is it an assassin's guild or something not necessarily it's a guild. guild so it's a shady it's dealing kind of place that you can get employment who's their leader do i know who's their leader uh Do you want to give us that information or that kind of like puts you in jeopardy? Yeah. Do you want to 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 say it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. You don't have to answer all my questions. You can just yeah, exactly. tell them to fuck so, up. <laughs> I'm not gonna How about say you fuck, fuck off? <laughs> but unfurnished Trinity, the more you know more dangerous it is for you well uh, we were involved either way looks like we have a bounty hunting or involved something. yeah for for me can i look at the paper to see the name of the person yeah. we have to hit yes uh it's who, is it someone who we know I no no well, let, I mean, let me generate a random name. <laughs> the, it's a girl's name. Uh, it's uh, Deli Metz. You show us the name, or you are reading just for you? Uh, I guess I'll read the name. Out loud? Yes. Okay. He is telling us. Does the last name rings a bell what is the name for me um make a history check what is the name of the girl natural 20. let's go Yay, finally for 20. <laughs> uh so mess is not a common name in in the city what is the name best Metz. Veli. Veli. Metz. It's M E T S K. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's not a common name in the city. Um. They, it, it's a more of an elven name. Uh. They are merchants. That have like made made a good name in the city for like the family itself like a couple of generations ago uh so they're they're still very uh like tight-knit but 
Uh, you know them. I know them. The Mets are kind of a... Uh, it's Elven. But you don't yeah. hear that every day. And uh, they're kind of like a tight-knit bit of Elven merchant. Uh, it's a good name, actually. Don't don't know why they, they would like to get any arm in... Well, for, for Valley, actually. They're competitors. Yeah, it was probably ordered by that, yeah. There my info on so, the paper. Do you realize there's a lot of chance that the guy who wants us killed is actually the one, the guy who is our, who is their client? Well, yes, but we don't know. Yeah, that's actually a good, good point. We're trying to clear our name with the same guy that kind of gave us the letter to kill a competitor. What are the odds? So how oh. do you want to deal with that, Cade? You want to murder someone? To save your own skin? What happens oh. if you don't kill yes. this girl? <laughs> uh, do I remember how much statue I have left? You're cutting out. The two. Uh, two. Uh, yeah. So if I don't do the deeds, I will lose one head on my tattoo. And what happened? When I don't have one, they will come after me. That's what I think. Or right. too many failures, kind of thing. Yes. How many heads did you start with? Hmm. Yeah, how many, many heads, heads did you have? Did I start with? Five. Five? Yo, how I'm bad. How, how many are and left? You Wait, you should have done that like at the interview. Like, uh, I've been on... Uh, I failed uh, three out of five jobs already. Wait, what were your three other jobs? Oh... No, no, let's keep that for later. Okay. Uh, we'll later when? Time. Well, when we have time because we have an yeah, appointment at here. the piggy. Yeah, the fancy piggy. So we can take our time with that hit, right? Not really. Care to elaborate, sir? Mm, I don't. Not sure I know the time frame, but it shouldn't be too long. But why? They're like they're gonna time you or something? The target's skipping town. What's happening? No, oh, it's just if I don't do it fast enough, I fail. Okay. All right. So maybe tomorrow you have to do that. Out of character, are you hiding the fact that someone else has the job as well? Or did you just not understand that part? I don't understand that part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Am I allowed to, to point that out or? Well, no, you don't have any idea what happened there. Should no, but... Know now? Yeah, but I should have all knew. We, we heard that there's another oh. guy on the target, and that's yeah. why we need to hurry up. Well, you can play, point it to Max, but you don't need to know it. Anymore. Yeah. Okay, that that's what I wanted to. And I know that my character doesn't know. I just me as a player, I'm I wasn't sure that Max as a player knew and understood. And I, I'm not sure if I was if you were okay with the fact that I pointed it out. Or if I should fake that, I don't know. Even if it's a player. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's just uh, when I when you left, the guys told you uh, that the somebody else was on the same job, so you had to finish it before. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I missed that. Do you really now the players are on the same page. Hey, okay, okay. 
So, will you mind repeating why we need to hurry up? Because there's someone else doing the same job. In okay, I, I misunderstood the first part. Oh, damn. Me, so, me. we're in a time box here. Do you know ah. who is against the same target as us? No. We could go after him. Do we have to take care of the target? Well, the, well, the, the targeter of the target? The target yeah, the, we don't, we don't the hunter that. becomes the prey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that info, so. You <laughs> saw it. I'm just joking. You just brought a huge load upon yourself. You took a hit for the team, and that's a good thing on your part. You don't deserve me saying you suck, hardball. Okay. So we can. Somebody, somebody. <laughs> yeah. So where can we find that valley? Actually, oh. it's comparing the time frame we have to make the hit and the time frame. Actually, we never really decided if we're gonna take that hit. Right? Kate's kind of a tight situation. And then and, and when is our meeting with the guy? This is tonight, like tonight. In a couple hours, yeah. actually. In a couple of hours, so maybe. Well, I mm, said couples, but it might not be that much of a couples hour. Eh, it's at sunset. What time is it? I'll look at the sun. Okay. And say, at that time. I think we all went. I think we all went looking at the sun there. Yes. He, wow. He, he made the Shalpat node. Uh, I, I would say it's about like three and a half, four in the afternoon. Oh, okay. So according to the sun, it's about three and a half, four. So we have like what? A couple of hours until the... Yeah, sunset. two, th three, four hours, depending on the season before sunset, so... Yeah. We don't have that long. Exactly. So, in the paper says, uh, where is this belly mess? J we Maybe. just have a name. We just have a name. Okay. Well, I think we're going to figure it out after we talk with Joey. Since I already know that they're elven and a tight group, do I know where they're actually like do most of their business, where they're located, or yeah? Well, since uh, I've been here like before in Neverwinter, I know where they are, so we could actually start with that. Okay. To the Merchant first... Guild. But first, Tuli. <laughs> If we get so, to Lee, we have everything resolved and we can kill this person. We yeah, have a then, meeting with the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have the meeting for uh, convince him that uh, don't. So who's talk? memorizing that part? Who has the highest memory slash intelligence? Intelligence. You're already like, sending uh, me. Oh, intelligence. Well, it's uh, only Kate who's going to be there. No one else yeah. can You're actually mesmerize that. So. Kate, Kate is going it's to go right. and just already decide that oh. he's going to be an, an elf. Oh, he's going to be all, all disguised like. Right. Oh, we, we lost. Uh... No, I mean, it's just that the video doesn't work. I don't know why. And she's back. She's back. She's back. So, Kate is going to go because Tuli likes half lips. So that's yeah. why we're going to send him. Is that why? Yeah. Yeah, precisely. That's the only reason why. That was the only reason why. Because the only thing that we knew that was he liked half lips. Okay. Yeah. Pretty I much. don't want to go anymore. <laughs> I, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, the oh. thing is that 
if we go with Thule, well, if Kate goes with Thule, but we're probably all going to go with the f fancy piggy anyway. Uh, if we go with Thule, if it takes too long and the other guy, the other hitman kind of finishes a job before Kate does, he loses one more head. Yeah. So while Kate is doing this thing with Tuli, someone can go and find Belly Met. Yeah, splitting the group sounds like a great idea. Not However, sure if that's sarcasm um, or not. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Or well, we can go right out after we end with Tuli. I would, well, it it is a great idea, but I feel a something that could obsess the cosmos rules, cosmic cosmic balance. What's in that beer? <laughs> what what could upset the? Co comic balance the fact that we split up for such a long time okay. may I say one word what? yeah who's Ugger. talking Ugger. seriously what's in that Ugger. beer <laughs> Ugger-y. <laughs> well I don't know I just put oh, that out. I was like, <laughs> why, why did you say that? I don't know why. What? Who's talking for real? Who's talking? What? Is that, is that the DM or is that some guy who came over? Sorry. I uh, just picked a, up on what you said. It's a bunch of people that in the inn that all shout out at the same time. Hoggery! Yeah. In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> So, so, so what's no. the thing that With... the mysterious voice wanted to tell us? No, he said oh, one I'm, word. I'm, I'm not saying anything. What he means is that it would be a great time. Sorry. It would be a great time to cast Augury. You know, do your divine shebang and like consult with your god. What is the and good ask path? What? Uh, is the... Velimesk path is better than the, the the other thingy, the Tully. Oh, splitting the, the group? Yeah, no, exactly. not splitting the group. Which one is the best one to go after? Vili or Tully? Oh. Well, Tully, we have to go to Tully. You're absolutely do we, right. We do we have to go on Tully? Or we just have to go to the superior and do his like... We got so much crap on the guy. Just drop like a big deuce on his... The same desk. day, the same day that he is judging us. That that you're yeah, absolutely we can go tomorrow. right there. Burn, you're a wise He's person. Right. You're a wise, and you, despite your looks, you smell really bad. However, I will say it would be a perfect time to cast Argory. I don't have it prepared, so I can cast it tomorrow. Once we make our decision. <laughs> Tomorrow is way too old. Tomorrow oh is way too late. <laughs> All right, we split the group. Sima, go get I, the. I, go I get can the guess boat. it tomorrow to know if the decision we took leads somewhere good. That's uh, useful. Yeah. I can probably also All tell right. you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll prepare it right now. And I kind of fall asleep on the table. Yes. I think we had one too many beer. And with that, did we have a short rest? I think we did have think, a short rest. I think yes. <laughs> sure. Because I'm... For I am some reason, life. my life points are not... Oh, at the yeah, max. You, did we have you, a long rest? Uh, no. We did okay. it. You, you, you yeah. got... You got the dagger in the back. You got like yeah. 27 hit or I don't remember how many. I got, I got the dagger and the take short rest. 
confirm. I, and I, I rose, I rise back up and I say, I just took a short rest. Yeah, no shit. No, I didn't. All right. Uh, we should take a short rest. Now. I just did. We, we've been like doing sh nothing for the past like hours. The only one who did something was like Cade for go for a walk and get some information. All we've been doing is actually drinking beers. We took like a 20 minute walk and then we went in the room. <laughs> and that's it. And that's pretty much it. So right now we have like two, three hours before the Tuli appointment. And might want to get some information on Valley or take care of business if we have enough time. And then we can just, that sun a bit before sunset, we can go to the Fancy Piggy. Or we can just drop the whole Tuli thing and. I don't think we, we have to drop all the Tuli thing. We just need this little meeting just to say like, yo, you are so screwed, so you have to be with us the day that is, they are going to judge us. That's it. And after that, we can go for belly med. I mean, yes, sure. Uh, yeah. But there's, there's a saying. It's called... Would you rather cast fireball at the hornet's nest or simply poke it? Because I'm going gonna, to Tulane gonna... doing doing like we've got shit on you is just poking. Okay. Dropping all the evidence we have to a superior is casting fireball. Well, so we, we need to find a superior. Up, That's why I asked, does he guys. have a boss? Who does he report to? But we don't I have mean, that answer. He's, he's at the barracks. Should be barracks charism should be so, pretty easy to find so your plan is really screw this guy from the beginning and um, the judgment is not going to happen like never because well it's just gonna be reported to some days after no well it won't be till he's gonna judge us that's for sure yeah exactly so Does the next Julie's judge you judge want us, us to kill it well, we could. I, I wouldn't mind, like, stripping naked and going to prison. I've done it a lot of times. Yeah, the trick is to drop everything you have in one container hidden somewhere in the world, and then you just go and say you don't have any money and to put you in jail for some time. And you might need to practice again some skills you had. But after uh, all in all, you would, you know, it's just some time that has passed. What the f- so <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? What the f- <laughs> Oh, he's right. What's the worst? We're gonna do some prison? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, I mean, we we all we all dressed like Fern with the little, little something, you know? And maybe the elf puts on the top and we surrender. But before- just right after we put on the paper in the good hands, and then we just wait in jail to be free by the appropriate wait. people. You know, you yeah. Let's say the, the guy has a boss, right? So we we give the papers to the boss, so the investigation goes in. The wrong the the, the corrupted dude puts us in jail. And then the corrupted dude goes to jail, and we get freed by the corrupted dude's boss. That's not going to happen, because if the judgment happens, Tool is going to say like, "Yo, these guys are guilty," and and we go into prison. Exactly. But that's yeah, and in prison, no one can touch us, or I, not a lot of people. You know, we can defend ourselves in prison. So while we are in prison. The investigation on the dude who puts us in prison will go on, right? Everybody follows me? Yeah. Yes. And yeah, I, I believe I'm it's, asking it, that he won't be like able a... to judge us, actually. 
with the with this like you all follow me yeah going to prison <laughs> seems like one of all the right. worst options and after that the guy who puts us in jail gets goes to jail because his boss just discovered with our help that he's a bad dude right and for that we get out of jail cards and we're free we are going to have chargers on us still no criminals too, just more no because the law is looking criminals. for us because of that dude who is corrupted more beer everyone is corrupt over here even us <laughs> so they don't know that but do, do we all remember that the price on our head is like 50 gold each that's not a lot it's just that's 50 all. gold each? yeah, we yeah if that. we turn ourselves in can we get the money <laughs> i very oh much God. doubt that's how it works <laughs> yes so no Can it's not like get 250 gold and go to jail it's yeah for not that or we can get one of us to disguise our themselves turn the others in get the money and then help them escape pulling out the papers that Proof that the guy who puts us in jail is is a bad dude. Who? What's that guy's name? Tolan? Tillon? Tolan? Truly. Talon? Truly? Well, actually, no. Yeah. Truly is the one who's gonna be judging us. But, but we can manipulate Truly so the, he change his mind in the moment of the judgment. The the one who actually uh, set the charges on us is actually uh, Jorzak. Uh huh. Or, uh, uh, we there is no way that we can have access to Jorzak. Who's Jorzak? He's the merchant that we robbed on the road to Neverwinter. Oh yeah, the, the evil, evil dude. That's the oh. Those papers, they 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 prove that Jorzak is bad or that Lord Lord is bad. Judge, that the judge that is going to judge us, it's bad. But is it convict Jorlax as well? No. No. Just that dude. Well, I'm saying yeah, no, that's but what actually I'm talking I don't about. know. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That dude is evil. So it Jor 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 Lurs Lurs Lur What's his name? Jorzak. No, the other one. Tuli. Lurs. Tuli. No, Veli Mesk. Fuck you! R. L L Tuli. Oh, he's gonna put us in jail, right? But if we hand out the papers to his boss, then we'll get out of jail. His boss will get us out of jail. Why? Why don't we do that just now? Hey, we're going to talk. We have like boss. three hours. I think we can turn that in right yeah, now. Yeah, I think the difficult part is just to make sure that we find the right person to hand out the proof that we our lives rely on. To I mean, you know, we we've it, met it, with the it, something. It, it's dude. not like you can go in and in the barracks and yell, "Hey, we're wanted people who wants to talk to the big boss." We're we're not wanted. Well, we've yet. We've talked to the big boss before. He knows. Yeah, we did. We, he knows our we face. We already do it. We already do it. Yeah. He's the yeah. one who said, "Like, oh, wait, you're them. wanted Tully's people." His boss. I don't oh, know if he yeah. still is his boss necessarily. I don't but think so. I think he's just uh, an intern or something. But we know one of the biggest heads, maybe, because we are always with Seldor, and we are always like related to the uh, guard. You think his elder can help us? Sildor is Jorlax. from the Lord's what Alliance. It's quite oh, different from the garrison. Yeah. yeah, but maybe the Lord's Alliance can help us. They're a different organization, which is a non-corrupt... <clears throat> maybe a non-corrupt organization. Just saying they had uh, one of his members that we kind of killed that was called Glastaff. Was part of the Lord's Alliance? He was part of the Lord's Alliance with Sildor. Yeah, but... Holy shit. Evil. There's bad people everywhere. 
Yeah, but even Kate is a bad guy. Yeah, but Glassstaff was a friend he, of He's the... a bad guy, but I mean, he's a yeah. two out of five, so I mean. Yeah. Not yeah. That bad. He's okay. not that bad. Either. I think we're balancing each other out. Yeah. I, I, yes. Like, we're all moving in different directions, but in the same way, in the same one. You, you know what I mean? Is this a shopping episode? No. <laughs> It's a new kind of episode. It's a talking episode. Come I love on. it. Role playing. Come on. It's a plot episode. Get on board. All right. Hey, like, all right. All right. I'm going to shout. That's a good idea. Right on. And then get on for just kind of. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> what? what's the idea? <laughs> what are you guys doing like now? That one. I guess we'll just turn ourselves in and pay the gold. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. <laughs> you don't get it. The whole the best thing is, is the gold. We go to the Karazin. We find uh -huh. the, the, the highest ranked we can find, which is probably okay. higher than Thule, and give the crap we have on Thule. There's so many things that we haven't completed. So what, is going, like, what is going to happen after that? There's a dragon cult, there's the Wave Echo Cave. There's the dragon that killed her family. There's like a lot of stuff that we never did. We are been doing quiz after quiz. That's that's There's all, all down the that's... road. And this right now, and this right now that is happening right now is our responsibility for uh, a stole from this guy. And there's a silver hand cult organization thing. There's this merchant guy now. Like. Are we getting screwed a little by little without even completing a single thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. I understand everything. Uh, wait, you weren't there in the discussion where we said like, oh wait, we're at the pivot point where our uh, module of D&D &D turned into a campaign. Yes. Welcome yes. to the campaign. Yes. That's a campaign. Well, that's a fucked up campaign for like, sure. Right now, right now, we are doing a campaign. We're damage control. Yes. So what's our priority? Back on top. Getting out of life. <laughs> okay. We're meeting like, the right guy now, in three hours. Like, right now, our priority is not getting jailed. Okay. Let's see where, where that meeting gets us. Right? We say we got dirt on you. Right? And we say if you... What? Sentences might intimidate him enough, right? Exactly. That's why. That, that's what I'm saying. If I it doesn't go that. well, I say we just let it go and give the proper papers to the proper people, like we told him we would do. Yes. How about that? <clears throat> Have you thought about? <laughs> and that way, the story moves forward, and Zook's happy. Have you thought about, you. like, you you poke him? He works at the garrison. Like What's dispense? gonna stop him from just arresting us and putting us in jail, like getting all our stuff? So, Turns well, out it just get... seems like we would be in jail anyway. Oh, you mean right now? Like it, it would, yeah, would yeah, be a like, trap. Oh, let's uh, let's poke the bear. We bear can... gets angry, throws us in jail. In the same evening. Well. Think about this. If we go and we realize that this guy is not uh, scared of us, someone have the papers outside, not with Kate in the reunion. But it won't it be Kate in this guy, so he doesn't know it's us? Maybe Kate have to... Well... How do you want to disguise Kate? Well, he's small. Maybe he fits in a crate. <laughs> Having a meeting with a crate, always nice. I've seen things where they just carry crates in their pocket she and they're just hiding crates. Like a girl or uh, something. And people don't Why? recognize them. Because, I don't know. When you get there, you say, hey, there is these guys that you're going to Georgia uh, in three days and uh, they want to know you that you're a yeah. really dear person and... Uh, they're going to screw you if you put them in jail. But we could send someone else as well as our messenger. Exactly. So if some something goes wrong in that reunion, that person 
that is like listening is going out and tell them the people that is going to be outside, I don't know, it's going to be Suk or Semat or me, whatever. And immediately we go to the, uh, to the garrison. If something goes wrong, in the moment. Alright, I have to pee. When I come back, you guys, as, uh, you guys figure it out when I come back or like doing it or I don't know. It's right. getting late also. I, I don't know what you guys want to do. Let's discuss the plan before, before we end anything. Discuss yeah. something. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? What's, what's the... I'm uh... still gonna go pee. And, yes. Uh... Okay. Still, he's going to listen because he have the... Uh... What's the... Uh... Like, what's the time frame? That we, have? we have about two or three, three hours. Three hours. Let's say before three the hours meeting? before the meeting before with Tully. And how much time do we have until the other uh, one gets the uh, get the target that we, we got us? We actually we don't, don't, know. Know. We don't know. We don't know. We know there is some guy that is going to yeah. kill her. But we and we know. know where the guy is right now. Right? The target? Veli? Mm, yeah. Vaguely. Well, oh, the rough... target that Kate got. Yeah, that's Veli. Vaguely. We have a sort of a like location we don't know okay. precisely but we kind of know where and so the plan right now is we go to the meeting tell him that he's a bad dude that we have proof that he's a bad dude and if anything wrong happened uh we got someone on the outside that runs and go to the authorities with the proof is that what's happening now? With the proof. Or we can... Or the other option is just... Don't go to Tully. Like, don't say anything. And just go directly to his superior. And show him. And, and in theory, that... Could end the uh, judge. Like, the judgment. Because there yeah. is no judge. Well, judge. it would replace the judge. So no, the one that it's has a been mistrial. Come on. No. Okay. I think that we should get this guy on our side using dirty means, his own means. Yeah. He thinks he's meeting not with us, so that can't be a trap, right? Uh, yeah. So as long as he's escorted by, he's uh, as long as he's not escorted by. An army, we can't get out of any situation, right? So we could just like scout the place before we show up, and we show up as a surprise to him. Well, he won't expect it. He won't expect us. He doesn't cool. have necessarily an army at hand, like at but a few guards, beating. you know. But few guards for sure. He probably but has one can handle pretty quickly. I mean, nothing if... we can't handle with by escaping or something, or just beat him up. I don't think we can beat him up though. He's important. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the authorities of Neverwinter, so. Because if he's going directly to uh, to uh, the superior of Tully, the uh, judgment is going to to happen in three days. That's for sure. And it's still, we steal from this guy, so I don't know if we're going to get out clear from that. How about like clearing our record because we showed good deed and like doing, hello, this guy is corrupted. We did a good deed. You can drop charges that you have on us. Right, you have one hour left now before the meeting. And, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and we have to convince the superior to this. Uh, why do you have to convince him? Like you have a buttload of letters. Well, yeah, but uh, then uh, what we, we have to say yeah. like, yo, we did some bad stuff. Yeah. We robbed this not, thing. Not did we do bad stuff? Corruption. I mean, allegedly. did you just say you you we did butt stuff? <laughs> butt yeah. stuff, I did said. We do okay. Butt stuff. 
I missed you that? You are one? not aware of whatever happened that night with Ava. With what? What? <laughs> Is that what happened at the end with your date first? Oh, so that happened. Huh. I bet what he happened? with the girl. He hit the girl. Nothing happened. So, like I said, I think we have two options here. Either we go in to meet him, maybe not all of us, and we tackle him directly, or we go to the authorities and report him, but in the meantime, we'll get judged and go to prison. Exactly. So how are why, we going why to... would we get judged like immediately? No, not immediately, but in three Our days. Our trials in three days. Yeah. The three days. I think it's gonna take longer than three days to you know, for the authorities to react. The trial is going to happen even if Tuli is in jail or not. I mean it would get discredit discredited. It's not gonna be the same judge. I mean if you had evidence that the person who's judging people is corrupted would you do like i'll wait the end of the investigation or do like maybe sit this one out about we just blackmail him and uh, that's it i leave it up to you guys i'm up for anything burn hole found out Fairies, fairies cast fireball if 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 they want to get us in jail let's have a good reason yeah. That's... Buy a boat. Buy a boat and leave now. So you, you want to leave you just a... now? What? You're <laughs> casting it now? I'm cast... Am I casting fireball? Shit, am I? Uh, no. Ah. So, Fern, your idea On is who? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> so, Fern, your All right, idea time's is up. That... Let's do this. Leroy Fireball! Yeah, okay, which direction is your target again? Just point me toward general, <laughs> general direction. direction. <laughs> Sh should be north. Try All right. north. It's like 500 yards away. Fireball I mean, is what, 120? Yeah, yeah, that's no, it. it's fine, it's fine. If Fern's gonna run around and we're gonna burn every exit to the city. Then, I, I, uh, I think that there's an advantage. If the guy believes us and he fears us, he's yeah. going to keep judging us, right? He's going to be our guy that we go yeah, to if we want to get judged in the positive way. Exactly. He's going to be a, 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 uh, how do you call it? Against, uh, because <laughs> we have, we have ways to, to say like, yo, we didn't rough from this guy. It doesn't matter. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. The fact is, he won't judge us because he'll fear that these things are going to be exposed. That's the whole point of it. Yeah. And if he screws us, then we expose the things. And when he don't screw for us and he says we're not guilty... Then, then he's we... being a good boy and we're clear. And we yeah. release the evidence and he goes to prison because he's been a bad boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's but it. then again, like we don't know who's gonna replace him. Maybe it's gonna be another corrupt no, no, judge, no, no, no. and we replace you know, him after. And that merchant will still get our head anyway. So. Oh, the merchant is just. I just want to see them. This merchant, the day of the uh, judgment, and just. I don't he think he's gonna be there. He just wants to screw us. He is the real bad guy here. Yeah. Maybe the blackmail will also get a bit more information on the merchant as well. We would never know. Yeah. But we, I'm still we good to report him to authorities and go through proper channels. If you do, if you're not willing for blackmail. Yeah. Well, I think so, at this time our window of opportunity to report him before we meet him is kind of closing. Even maybe closed at this point. You mean not show up to the meeting? Where no, we we're gonna have to show up to the meeting because we didn't go quick enough to the garrison, so there's well, not gonna can, be anyone left. We can left. go and just miss the meeting. That's it. Yeah, but the higher ranks are not gonna be there, probably. Because Why? we're outside of working hours, you know. 
Okay. I mean, if we're not going, we have two days until judgment. Yeah. Yeah, it gives us time if... if... So, we okay. vote. Blackmail yeah. or accusation. We can blackmail the guy. So we go into the uh, meeting and we'll see. Well, blackmail, we go to the meeting and try to say, yo, we ju you just like not guilty and we're not going to report you. Yeah. Or and we just directly go report. Yeah, exactly. One or the other. I say I say we bring someone like uh, like a few a few one uh, like a few of us over there to meet him, and just mention that the other people are away, and then we see we, where we go. So that's where my vote is. Hey, we go into Tully's meeting. <clears throat> and we'll see. Do the fancy piggy then. Do the fancy piggy. Alright, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Fancy Yeah, fancy piggy. And I try to... I, I, I go downstairs. And I ask to the... Bartender. Bartender. Uh, hey, uh, maybe you have some uh, nice clothes for a halfling? Clothes for a halfling? Um... No. I can find it somewhere. Like in an hour. There alley. are shops outside. I don't have goods like clothing. But... Okay, maybe in an hour I can go and just I just go through the door and try to find some clothes store. And I'm not in Q2K. All right. So in an hour before you guys are leaving, you're running in the street and trying to find the clothes. clothes yeah. Shop. So I suppose I have to roll or something. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, if someone that knows the city helps you, it's gonna be easier. Who knows the city? Her. Why are you looking at me? It's all weeks oh. right, isn't it? Pretty much everyone except Zook and Tamara <laughs> has been in the city yeah, for quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can help you out. It's that direction. I mean, we've been sure. shopping here for... Like, so we, we, we've shopped for like maybe two say, days in a row. We should be able to find a yeah. decent clothing place. Okay. I thought you were just like... Bursting out the door and just running around the place. No, I'm going to search for an Okay. What I'm yeah, doing it's... also? You should yeah. bring your 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 model actually. You can try clothes on me, but it won't fit. Okay, in. everyone's going to find clothes with me. Alright, so you guys shopping episode. Go to uh make your way to the fancy piggy. Stopping by uh some clothing shop. Um like there there are Affling clothing, so the selection is not like super good, but uh, you can find something that looks a bit more fancy than his leather armor. Um, that is like dressed up and not an armor. Uh, it's a stud leather armor. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Gonna run you about like three gold. I give not, three gold. It's, it's not the most fancy thing, but. It looks better. Okay. Anybody else? Nope. Nope. Nobody's gonna end, uh, go in the fancy piggy. Uh, Ooh, no, we're gonna take a table, oh. not too far. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, so I'm asking, like, are you guys yeah. trying to blend oh. in and be a bit more? Yeah, yeah. yeah I hope. Yeah, you yeah. put your cape on me. Can we really blend in? Like, we're wanted people. He's gonna recognize us. Well, oh, we I'm can... in disguise. D disguise. Disguise. We're going to disguise. I'll get a top disguise hat. Disguise oh. episode. Yay. Uh, I'm going to get. If we are in a clothes store, I'm going to get some kind of uh, 
like okay. hat or something and uh, yeah. and I just saw it on the furry and I uh, put my hair inside the hat and I don't know sure you you want to hide under Fernscape? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. I you go it's into gonna... ca cave? Hey, what? Under Fern or Cave? Fern. Oh, Fern. Fern. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay, Fern. okay, okay. Dang. Yeah, not Cave. Yeah. We're, that's not gonna work. So you're going to get hide into the. Into yeah, the I'm getting on the strap. And he just can put his cape on me, okay. and uh, we're good. <laughs> we don't mustache. No mustache. I'll grow a mustache in an but hour. But Fern is going to get a mustache. All right, so you guys gather whatever the uh, the uh, disguise you want. Uh, some fancy clothes. Uh, gonna run down like maybe fifteen gold for everyone. Whatever you want. 15, um, 15 right. total for the, the group. So five each. Mm -mm. Five each. Five each. Five okay. each? I said 15 for the whole group. Three I each. The whole group? Oh, three each. Okay. That's less than that, but yeah. So we just get a little bit of uh, deep. Uh, and you guys make your way to the fancy piggy. Fancy piggy! I don't know if we can leave it for now. Let's see what <laughs> happens next time. Uh, Come on. I was not expecting that today. <laughs> that was serious planning. Yeah, it was. It was serious planning. This is the first time like we are like, yeah, this is going to be the plan and like that. Like, <laughs> we're normally just let's go in. <laughs> yeah, normally it's more like yeah. I mean, it has worked for us. For sure. And a, a year and a half later, where did that campaign go? <laughs> <laughs> we said serious planning, but at some point we were talking about buying a boat. We should yeah, buy okay. a boat. I'm I was very serious in buying yeah. that boat. How much is a boat? I'm not saying that that's not, not going to happen. That's going right. to happen at some point. Well, I would like to point out that a boat is very expensive. But... You can steal it. But... A, a dead owner of a boat is let... No, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't get a... Let's kill Good someone boat. and get a boat. With... <laughs> I mean, a rowboat is pretty cheap. Oh. Sure. You can't really live in it, though. No. Well, <laughs> there's a magic item that <laughs> that is a folding boat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm reading. <laughs> <A> folding boat? <laughs> yes. A what? How what big is, is it? It's a boat in a box. Yes. I but, want the boat in a box. <laughs> but how big is it out of the box? I mean, boat it's, it's just like a ra oh. uh, not a raft, but a... No, no, the second command word no. calls the box to unfold into a ship 24 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 6 feet deep. <laughs> it's, it's really big. big. Yes, the ship has a deck, rowing seats, 5 sets of oars, a steering oar, an anchor, a deck cabin. I want that fucking thing, man. I want it. <laughs> That's my life goal now, to get the... Boat in a box. You, you know, you know, Sam oh, has made shit. some decision when he says, "Yeah, fuck church, give me that boat, boat, box boat." I'm do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of things to get that boat. What about your god? My what? That's my god. <laughs> my boat is what my god. god. But I it's a, a gotcha box. <laughs> I have a box with a goddamn boat inside of it. What has my god done to me recently? <gasps> I want you can it. get that. I want it. That would be it's super a, cool. a boat is very expensive. Oh, how, how much are we talking? Because the it sounds like you check. Folding boat? Well, the the most basic one, the rowboat, fifty gold piece. I mean, a uh, a keel boat. It's three hundred gold. And a sailing ship is ten thousand gold. 
Okay, and that item. Or launch. Well, it's a wondrous item. So. What is that? Probably expensive also. Yeah. We, there's a lot of wondrous items actually. Um, it's I, like. I've, I've, we... I've looked at it. At some point, I thought wondrous items were very extremely rare, but it's it's very uh, it's unclear. Do you remember that we have to get in a cavern that we never went? And but there's yeah, a boat yeah. and a box in the cavern. Probably. I mean, uh, it would make sense. There's a lot of uh, gold or something. <laughs> I need there. a boat and a box. It's like, the last last found calling. folding it's... boat of the Wavico game. Yeah, killing necromancers Why and not? getting was... bottom the, the only thing on the pedestal, the only item. And we your, have to find things book. like like Indiana Jones. What? what? Like the item, like the item is like uh, at the top or some uh, totem or something, and we get the item, and then all the traps active, and we have to run. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Warship. Long ship. A warship is even more expensive. In mean, Rumble, it's, it's like a house. Sailing ship. A sailing ship is like a lot. But we, we can still do it. Keel boat with that. It, it, it kind of looks like a catamaran or something like that. Mm. It's not a big ship that much. We shifted the conversation. But it said that it had a cabin. Yeah, you in have catamarans that have cabins. Not in the robot, but in the folding, the folding boat. Said the folding boat as a cabin, so it's not that small. Wait, it's not that. It says six feet deep. But then there's an image. The image is not about six feet deep. No, but the... I think the long ship and the sailing ship and the caravel are... 10,000 gold. I want that boat in a box. Okay, so That's the best there's, thing. There's two commands, actually. One command oh, is a 10 foot oh, long, right. 4 feet wide, 2 feet deep. Yeah. yeah. So it's a the rowing boat. boat. And the other one is a 24 feet long, 8 feet wide, 6 feet deep. But it has a rowing set, 5 set of oars, a steering oar, an oar, an anchor, deck, cabin, mast. You have a, a square sail. There's so. a picture for the small one, but not the big one. One says the ship 20. can hold 15 medium creature. Yeah, That's it's a lot. No, it, it, the other one is big. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't know how, the how big the box is. The box is 12 inches long, 6 inches wide, and 6 inches deep. Yep. That's really? 4 pounds. 4 pounds. And four oh, pounds. yeah, okay. It's the first and one. It floats. It floats. <laughs> That's, That's pretty cool. And every item that is in the box, when it when it folds back, stays in the box. It can so, be open to store items inside. So it can be weaponized. No. Uh, anything saying, can be weaponized. No. What I'm saying is, let's say yeah. I cast fly, get in the air, drop it about 150 feet. Yeah. But then again, the you destroy the boat while doing yeah. it. You, you can weaponize it if you put like a gnome on the mast with fireball. That <laughs> that that's weaponizing. I like how you're thinking. <clears throat> but then you have to be careful. It's um, it's a boat. Yes. Agree. Is it? I have mountain combat. I'm saying that boat. Well, you can mount it, or the boat can mount you. Oh shit! I don't want that. You can mount the boat. What? Ah. Yeah, let's not go further that conversation. So the plan is set. 
Everybody Vote in the bus. Yeah. What? That's not the plan. No. Uh, yeah, we're going. We're going to the fancy piggy. We're going to the. That's where the meeting is. You guys are at the fancy piggy at this point. Yeah, yeah we, we are, are at the fancy piggy. Yeah, we That's are. right. We're going at the fancy piggy. Dreaming right. of boats. The only question you're gonna get next session is, what do you do? So, okay. be before next session, I just want to whisper something into Fern's ear. <laughs> we go back to the bar and we discuss more. Make sure there is a window open. Beside the, the table that we're going to shoot? That doesn't matter anywhere. Just make sure there is a way window open. Uh, okay. We need a window open. Okay. I have plans. <laughs> fireball, yeah. we burn. Does it include fireball? <laughs> does I mean, your plan include fireball? Or does your plan include line of sight to the table that <laughs> Kate is sitting at? And it is not, because we're going to be inside. That's not what I'm thinking. Yeah, everyone is going to be inside. Cause we're I, have, be I have, I have. Maybe not everyone. Like this, I, I, I think, I still think that disguising everyone and that everyone gets inside is clunky. Well, we are, go we, are really we are right is. now at the doors of Fancy Piggy, so next session we can decide, like... Yeah, know, like, we'll decide who gets in, who gets out. And, yeah. and is he yeah. really fancy? Like, how fancy are we talking about? Is he really... <laughs> like, we, we, have, we have a week to think about it. Like, Three how gold piece, fancy. And <laughs> we're going to see. That's you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. So, yeah. All right. All right, thank that's good. Good session. Thank you for good your job. patience, Mr. DM. I know what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we're now on a time sorry. limit, so it's really easy for me. When you're on a time limit, like on stream, it's different. But yeah. I, I was just uh, like enjoying it. I was just like <laughs> listening to you guys and just having fun with it. We are so sorry. Right. We get crazy. And some point. that's gonna be it. Yay! Yay! Yay.